first built this community, one of the things that was important was sustaining our wetland area here. So Richard, can you talk a little bit about kind of these wetland conservation sites? So behind you, you've got a 12 acre uh, wetland that has been put into a third party uh, conservancy uh, to be maintained throughout time. Um, it's something that our, all of our Bayfront homeowners are gonna be able to take advantage of for many years to come. You've got anybody that wants to walk on the boardwalk will forever be able to walk along this boardwalk and have this view. You'll notice these signs and they're all the way down the boardwalk. They go over the plant life that's in these wetlands, everything that calls this ecosystem home. You've got your mammals in there, your fish, your crabs, everything that really uh, needs this environment to sustain here. Now this is very important for the Aransas Bay system as a whole to have this grass marshland and so we're so excited that we've been able to keep it here and preserve it both for our enjoyment and for the animals that live there. We've also got the Goose Island State Park just across the water here. One whole site on lands, Goose Island State Park. And just across St. Charles Bay, you've got Aransas National Wildlife Refuge. Um, all, this whole area is uh, called home by the whooping crane, which is an endangered species. We even have our own family that uh, calls our wetlands home. Yeah, the whooping crane is a five foot tall bird. Very, very cool to see. Uh, they mate for life. They come back to the same spot every year. And as Dick said, we got the same family we get to see. We get to see their babies every year when they come back and that is super cool to be a part of. Something that's almost a little extra and special here at the Reserve of St. Charles Bay. Behind me you'll see a nine, about nine acres of uh, wetland back here. That's something that we gave to the state of Texas uh, to be a part of Goose Island State Park. So not only will this always be here in uh, perpetuity, um, it's something that we did to give back to our state. We've got the boardwalk. It's a one-of-a-kind system that's unique to our community. Um, it's an eight-foot paver path around the entire canal. Uh, extends all the way out to the bayside. Um, not only is it a nice walking path, it's also a filter system, so it catches all your rainwater and filters it, filters it before it enters back into the bay. Yeah, and what's and what's so cool about that from a homeowner standpoint is instead of having you know 50, 75 feet of water frontage, you've got water frontage the whole way through the community. That's the main pedestrian thoroughfare. So if you're in the community, you want to fish, you want to throw a line, you've got miles of area that you can cover. Be right on the water, throw cast nets, really enjoy the water, and that's why we're all here to begin with.